Before we get started in this course, I want to fast forward because I get a question quite frequently from editors who are asking me, how can I become a better editor? What tips do you have to make me a better editor? And the most common response I have to that is just practice. The best way to become a great editor is to edit. Just continually edit, try things out, experiment. And in order to do that, you really need a lot of content to practice with. So to get content that you can use to follow along in this course and to practice with later on, you can either go out and shoot your own content, even if you're shooting on an iPhone or a smartphone or a lower quality camera, that's totally fine. You just need some type of content that you can use to practice the editing. If you want more professional looking content or you don't want to spend the time going out and shooting your own content, you can go onto the internet and browse for different stock photo and stock video sites. This is one, I believe it's pronounced Pexels, and this website has a whole bunch of free photos. But if you go up to the top right, at least in their design right now, this little more button here has also free videos. So you can click on free videos and then do a search for any type of video that you want to practice with. You can see some of the popular searches here, for example, uh, train, and there's a lot of videos on here of trains. So if you wanna use one of these clips, just click on the clip, it'll load it, and on the right side, you'll see a free download button. And this will download an MP4, which is not the highest quality content, but it's great for practicing editing with. Make sure with any of this content, if you're gonna be publishing it somewhere, that you know the licensing for this content. You don't want to get in trouble for publishing something that you don't have the rights to. But luckily, a lot of these free stock video sites have content that you can actually use and publish in your own projects. In addition to using stock footage, if you actually want to follow along with the same content I'm using in this course, you can. The content that I'm using is from a short film called Overtime, which is actually available from editstock.com. So just go to editstock.com, and if you scroll down, you can see kind of an overview of what this site offers, which is a whole bunch of films and different types. They also have documentaries, even a wedding video that you can get access to, and you'll get all of the raw footage, which is one of the most important things, in my opinion, to practice editing with Final Cut. Not only will you get all of the raw clips and all of the takes that they actually took on set, but you'll get all the paperwork that comes along with it. Which, in this case, if it's a short film, like we're going to be editing the overtime short film, we actually get the script, we'll see a storyboard, I mean, all kinds of great content that allows you to really understand where this project came from. Instead of just some random stock video clips that you've downloaded you can actually get everything that they shot on all the raw stuff really lets you actually practice the art of editing and when you go on to edit stock you can click on this view films button and this will take you over to a list of all the films they have on here on the left column you can check off the box to see a specific type of film so if you know you're trying to edit movies and actual films just check off the film box and you'll see all of them listed However, you might be an editor who has a specific goal in mind of editing documentaries or even editing wedding videos. Just check off the box on the left side to see that type of content, and then you're going to be editing that content instead of something that's a film that's not really aligning with your goals for editing. However, in this case, like I said with films, we're actually going to be editing this short film called Overtime, and you can go here and take a look at that and be able to see the content we're using and follow along right with it. It's a, a short Halloween style movie. There is a little blood and gore in it, but it's a great short film to, to work with and edit. They have some, some cool scenes in it with some challenges that you're not going to see in every type of editing situation, but it's a great one to follow along with in this case. If you do decide to purchase a film from editstock.com, you can use the coupon code FCP. 
P-H-E-L-P. That's F-C-P-HELP to get 15% off.